Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Resident Evil 6. So last night, there was an incident with a Chinaman. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. You know, your racism senses are probably through the roof right now. <laughs> Tingling like mad, but no, it's nothing like that. Um, okay, so one of our... Well, one of the guys who lives here is... Um, is Chinese, and you know, I don't know what, I think it was some kind of birthday party or something like that that was going on downstairs. And, uh, yeah, you know, all his mates were around, and it was, it looked quite a formal do actually. They had a proper meal, it looked like something that had been planned for a while, so I, I stayed out of it. I was quite happy up here. I actually was celebrating getting my PS3 back online, uh, so yeah, you probably start seeing people sign in and out from now on. Um, but yeah, so they're downstairs, fine, all looks all looks good, all fine, I'm, I'm up here, I'm happy. Bit of Final Fantasy IX, as I'm often playing of a, of a calm Sunday night. Uh, so yeah, a few hours go by, and all of a sudden I hear a bit of commotion next door, because the loo's right next door to my room. Um, practically an ensuite, if you want to think of it like that. Uh, but yeah, a bit of commotion. Sounds like somebody's had a bit too much to drink, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, the next door, all of a sudden, my door swings open a little bit, and stays there. Shh, quiet, I'm telling the story. And stays there, and I'm like, whoa, wait, what's happening here? I get up, open the door, can I help you, son? There's two guys stood there, one of them can barely stand up, and the other one, his mate, is trying to keep him stood up. And yeah, they're both apologizing, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry, well, I'm not going to do the accent, but yeah, they're both apologizing. And I'm like, well, I mean, I, beg of you, I am ever the, the, the caring citizen, always sort of, She's with her you know, concerned with the well-being of my fellow man. So I stand there and go, well, he's not fucking throwing up in here anymore. And I sort of grab him. And this is, he ain't a big guy. I mean, sorry, he, he was, he was a big guy. This isn't just part of the decor. Like, he wasn't, um... You're right. And there's more here than meets the eye. You know, he wasn't one of these little Asians that you normally get. <laughs> So yeah, try and sort of hustle him back into the uh, back into the toilet, and I'm sure you can guess where the rest of that story went. It was open uh. the last time I was here. Oh shit! What do we do? Yeah, we'll figure something out. Ah, uh, yeah, people. Around. What can you do about him? Anyway, Resident Evil Six. Uh, yeah. So between this and the last episode, I've kind of been back and uh, and sort of replayed everything up until this point, just by myself, just to sort of uh, get a bit more used to the controls and sort of familiarize myself a bit more with the story. There's so much stuff that I didn't know I could do. Like, there's so many sort of tactical, like, rolls and stuff to dodge out of the way, and yeah, I had no idea I could do any of this. <laughs> so, uh, but basically because I was sort of watching the videos, obviously I have to look back on them. And I was watching them and thinking, this... It's it's all right, but I'd, I I would rather sort of the gameplay match, eh? Sort of the gameplay match, um, you know what it was like in Resident Evil Four. I don't want it to. I don't I don't want the gameplay to be so bad that it's just you know really difficult to watch. Uh, so yeah, hopefully the quality should improve a little bit more from now on. But yeah, sliding underneath people. That's something new. <laughs> That's the one thing from the trailer that I was like, that's the first thing I'm going to learn how to do. But yeah, I still don't really, uh, still don't really know where I'm going. Nothing. Obviously, I haven't played. Uh, we must be missing something. The two motherly saints will reveal the path. I haven't played, like, past this point yet. So, and it looks like we're starting off with a puzzle. So that's good. Good news. <laughs> Hello, how big of a puzzle? Yep, not much of one. Oh yeah, and I can do, do things I like this. The other one. <laughs> Something tells me they're not just for show. You know, the old thumbs up, co-op and all that. Nice. <laughs> this way. You got it. Yeah. Pick up the pace, Elena. Come on. Not being rescued. <laughs> this is now the state of puzzles in the in Resident Evil. Apparently, <laughs> you just gotta sit and wait.
I do like this game though, it's not as bad as everyone was saying it was. I think people are just living in the past sometimes. I mean, I'm guilty of it as well. I, now we're getting somewhere. You know me, I love a bit of nostalgia. Enough of these games. Anyone who knows Let's me will go. know that. Because <laughs> I waffle on about so many old games all the time. Speaking of old games though, I am planning on starting a sort of... Uh, I don't really know what to call it, a mini-series maybe. Um, Roger. But just, uh, you know, do some walkthroughs of sort of old games that... Uh, that have meant a lot to me and that I've enjoyed sort of in the past. What is happening here? Whoa, what up? Pushing the switch on these statues seems to shut them down. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad, although I imagine it'll get a bit more complicated now. <laughs> but yeah, just playing some old games, sort of, I mean, from... This is going to get a little bit dicey. As far back as sort of the Mega Drive days, really. Time for this crap. But, you know, PS1 classics, maybe PS2 classics as well, if I can get some decent ones. Oh, my God. <laughs> How long do I have before that shoots me? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. You think this is gonna stop me? Oh, there's two of them. Just keep moving. Oh, what? Wouldn't want to miss out on all the fun. Maybe I have to use my dodge moves. <laughs> Whoa, why is... Oh, I didn't see one there, come on. Come on, you can make it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> dodged. It's a good job I learned these dodge moves actually before this part, otherwise this would be going horrifically. That also explains why uh, I have so much more ammo all of a sudden. That's really the only difference as well. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, don't don't tease me like this. Like I haven't got any more health items or anything like that, which is weird because I thought I would have. <laughs> okay, let's go. But apparently I was just as bad health-wise the second time around. All right, what's going on here? <laughs> I don't want to touch those. Oh, and I bought another skill. Um, oh, oops. Yeah, I bought another skill. What did I get? It's a... Uh, lock on, apparently. I, I forget what it does, but there must have been a reason <laughs> second time around why, why I was doing it. Uh, okay, so what's what's happening here? God damn puzzles. Excellent. Oh, and dual wielding. I think somebody in the comments mentioned dual wielding, and I only just about 10 minutes ago figured out how to do it. Uh, I don't know why I've got a second gun, actually. but I much prefer the one gun. It's classically on. Come on. Feeling kind of nervous. Whoa. Feeling kind of nervous at the moment. Um, <laughs> not being with Helena. Crazy how you come to rely on their partners. What now? Dude, what do I wait what? what? I don't get it, what do I have to hit now? Oh, aha, here we go. Still think it's weird how the zombies kind of slide across the floor rather than crawl. <laughs> oh, good. 
More mirror puzzles. Oh, my god, Helena. I'm so happy to see you. Alright, let's roll. Not much, uh, hey, what is that? It's like, uh, I'm gonna call that TMP ammo because that's essentially what it's gonna be. <laughs> Ooh, semi auto sniper rifle. Thank you. Nice. I like how that's pink as well. <laughs> uh, okay, so where's that in my inventory? In between that and the shopping. Okay. Got it. So I'm guessing I'm going to need it right now, is that true? Helena, you're going to have to... Oh wait, is it sniper ammo? Oh, I did not expect that. Do I have to hit that bell? I feel like I should hit the bell. <laughs> What did that do? Oh. Sniping like a boss. Is all of them? Nope. <laughs> Maybe there's one that I can only get from this side. I'm not seeing it. Oh wait, here we go. That's all of them. And feel bad shooting antiques. Oh, don't feel too bad, Liam. You look cool when you do it. It's all good. Whew. Just stealing all the valuables. Did you hear that? It was indeed a door. Ah, oh, God. It feels kind of strange talking to it. <laughs> the AI all the time. I'm actually thinking of uh, bringing somebody else in for the uh, one of the campaigns. At least one of the campaigns. Just to kind of mix it up. Somebody messaged me about sort of doing co-op just to mix things up. And I was kind of uh, thinking the same thing. Because Leon, you know, I wanted to handle that myself. Just... Just, just to sort of echo Resi 4, uh, but I think, yeah, I'll bring a friend of mine in just to, just to help out one of the other campaigns. Ow. Yeah, judging look as if you'd stand there, come on. To be honest, I'd ask Leon. He's, he's the resident expert. The resident evil expert. Ba bum. Are you okay? I'm that's what unleashed this Whoa, they are just on the same wavelength. Okay, who's a zombie and who isn't a zombie? Okay, all the zombies and the ugly women on one side, <laughs> and all the fine women on this side. Oh god. Okay, so apparently you can't get too near to that thing. Yeah, I'm dead. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh wow. Well, I think that's the uh, that's the gigantic bloody cue to uh, to end the episode for now, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching uh, this episode of Resident Evil 6 with Morris. And please do join me for the next one, guys, where I'm going to get my own back once again. See you later.